Hi, this is Ashfaq Khan and in this video, I am going to tell you how can you record expenses in bulk in QuickBook Online. So this method is very useful and it will save you days of time, a lot of your time to enter the data. So first of all, what you have to do is that just align your data, set up few important things in QuickBook Online and then you will be able to easily import or enter the data in batch entries. If you see, I have entries in the bank. These are my entries in the bank. So approximately 150 entries. And similarly, I have entries in cash book and also on credit as well. So if you have thousands of these entries, you can do that as well. So your years of data will be entered maybe in an hour or less than an hour. So all you have to do is that first of all align and make settings and then afterwards you will be easily able to enter that data so this is my bank details you need to segregate date account head amount and tax okay first step is this excel file needs to be converted into csv so i have saved in this the next important thing is that these account head should be same as in your account head in the chart of account now the next step is i'm going to align this account heads so just cop go to this gear button click on import data and click on chart of account we are just setting up the process and afterwards we will import the data okay so just download this sample file and within this sample file you will be able to see that we need to have account name type and detail type for importing the list of account heads in the first in this step we are aligning the account heads that will be used when we will enter the data so I have this excel file here so what I will do just copy all these account heads copy paste similarly if you have account heads in any other file for example in my case i have cash entries as well i will open that as well so i'll copy those account heads as well paste then i have data from expenses that are in account heads that are on account from the vendor as well so what i did i just copied all the account heads in one place so we are going to use these account heads in the quickbook online type you will just write expenses and detail type office journal administrative expenses type and detail type you have to take from here you cannot write by yourself just if you go to chart of account click on new from here you have to choose the type expenses and So this is what you have to copy paste over there. So I am arranging the account heads. So now I have these all account heads. You can have hundreds of these account heads, but they are repeating actually. Okay. So just select this, go to data, remove duplicate. So after re removing the duplicates, we have only six account heads 
that are repeatedly being used okay so in the next step so this is the format we are importing the list of accounts that will be used in our bulk data click import data click chart of account now we are importing chart of account or list of accounts click browse file you can have excel or csv browse so this is the list of accounts that i'm going to use click open click next headers which are in list of accounts click next so now you can see that these are over here click import now all these six expenses that will be frequently used over bulk import of data are already imported in our chart of account if let's you can go in the chart of account you can see here i have fuel dash one labor charge one okay the next step is now this is what i have entries for my bank account this would be in csv file so next step is just go to this gear button click on import data now we have started the work click on bank data all right then here you will see that export your bank statement csv ofc so these are the format that you can use but the thing that you need to consider is that in your bank statement there will not be account heads rather than doing or aligning the account heads later on first of all Im import your bank statement in excel and align your accounts in the chart of account at that point of time okay and then you can use this technique that i'm going to show it to you over here just select it And here I have these bank entries expenses open continue from here select bank this is my bank account click continue is the first row your header yes how many columns I have only one column is showing the amount this is important what's the date format used in your file so we have used month day date and year then scroll down here we have date we have in the description you will select account head because this point of time you are not getting any option for account head so in the description you will link the account head here choose the amount click continue we have not chose the date format correctly let's go back and choose the date format correctly we have day day month month and year first we are we have so we have to choose it correctly now it's correct and then continue now you can see that this is continuing again please note that these expenses are not being directly charged to the account heads now at this point of time because we have written account head in the description only Le on the later stages i'm going to show you the different technique a special technique to do that the next thing that you have to do is that reverse all values because these are the expenses so it should be in negative okay for expenses you have to do this and then you can have more than hundreds of these entries just select all click continue these are 150 transactions now in this step already data entered but the problem is that the account heads are not yet assigned so what you in the next step what you have to do is that 
just click any one we will let's start from fuel one and just click over here double click or single click here and you will see this you will see the screen and then scroll down slowly at the end you will see create a rule click on create a rule from here you can give the name of this rule so we will say that we are giving this rule name as f u e l fuel expenses okay apply this transaction to that our money is out that's in all bank accounts yes and includes the following description this is important description contains fuel one if you scroll down a little bit then assign expense yes which is expense here you have to be very careful here then assign fuel one or fuel expenses this is our fuel one expenses and then scroll down and if you want to assign more but i'm not, at this moment i'm not gonna i'm not interested click save now let's do this for the repair and maintenance same go down create rule over here all our expenses are already assigned to relevant accounts if we go to reports so these all expenses are recorded similarly now as we have already defined the rules and account heads are same so as far as now let's enter the data from cash book here the type should be bank so let's go and do it now it will happen in few seconds because we have already set our rules and other relevant areas click on bank data select the file click open click continue sometime you will not be able to see who see over here option because you have not refreshed it properly so re, just click over here refresh it properly then you will be able to see it okay click select cash in hand now we are using cash in hand account click continue yes one column select the date format our date format is day day month month year and here in the description you will select account head click continue reverse all values so it is a negative so that we can assign the expenses click here select all continue so 110 transactions will be ported click yes click done all right now let's go and check expenses already recorded now if we go to reports in the balance sheet you can see that cash in hand in the cash in hand column expenses are already reflected over here as well all the expenses are assigned to proper accounts fuel and fuel so both accounts cash in hand credit and expenses are debited now if you have noticed that this time it hadn't asked anything for a reclassification or rules because we have already set up our rules so these rules were applied automatically once we have imported and it had so it's been done in few minutes only so so now if the expenses are incurred on account from vendors how you can do that that is very simple just go to import data click on this gear button then import data from here just enter on bills and from here download this sample file fill the relevant area i have already done it so this is a sample file 
and just copy paste your data over here account heads are same and then you can import it here bills browse import if you have new suppliers in this file then click this if you don't have then don't click this click next and from here just arrange your format we have day month year line amount is in the line amount text inclusive or exclusive let's say exclusive go down click next from here select the text rate click next start import that's it now if we go to reports And the profit and loss count data has already been reflected. If you go to balance sheet, you can see that now account payable has been also created. Similarly, effects are also being taken in the control VAT control account as well. So this is the technique that you can use to enter the data in bulk in QuickBook Online. So one last thing that I want to discuss with you is if you go to transaction and here if you click over rules you have already set up rules over here our rule is that description and then assign that description to that account head so you can edit or delete or disable or copy this rule as well for example just copy this rule and just create description contain legal expenses and you can use the legal expenses rule and then that will be helpful for you so that's it i hope you like this video please click the subscribe button for me share it with your friends give me some motivating comments so i can release more videos of this kind thank you very much take care stay blessed